What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Coach Plugged In channel. I am back today with another one of my favorite iPad applications, LumaFusion. And LumaFusion just came out with a 2.3 update today that allows us to do a lot more on the LumaFusion application. And I'm here to give you the X's and O's on how you can stay plugged in on video creation here in 2020. So with that being said, let's plug in. All right, so LumaFusion is by far one of the best video editing applications on the iPad and iPad Pro. It is a professional video editing application on the iPad that allows aspiring creators to create content very easily on the move using the application itself. But it does come with some caveats. There are certain things inside of LumaFusion when it comes to tracks and audio and then also trying to create different assets inside of the application itself. But every single update that LumaFusion has come out with has allowed us as creators to do a lot more and they take that a step further today. So I'm gonna jump in to my iPad today and show you all some of the updates that they came out with for multi-track selecting, cut, copy, and pasting, and then also being able to work with people over the internet as that is something that is very valuable at a time like right now. So let's jump right into the iPad. We're gonna open up the LumaFusion application. I've already got a little timeline started here, but one of the biggest things I wanted to show you all is first, if this little box down here as this is a new box, this is the box that allows us to select multi-tracks. Now you can unselect it and select it, and when you select it, you can see that these two brackets come up. And one of the ways that you can select tracks with inside of these brackets is coming up here to this little timeline and just scrubbing back and forth. And that right there already allows you to select those tracks on that timeline. So that is way number one that you can select tracks on the LumaFusion timeline now using this multi-tracker, this multi-track selector. The next way I'm gonna do is being able to just click on different tracks. Once you have it turned on, you can click on multiple tracks and it will select all of them. So that right there is number two of the ways that you can you know, select tracks. And, I, and the best thing is you can move these around. Uh, so I'm able to move those around if I want to pick them up and drop them off in another part of the timeline I can and then last is Once you have this on again, you can click anywhere inside of the gray if as long as long as you're not on an actual track You can click on that and drag and this allows you to you know select those tracks as well so there's three ways to selecting tracks you can do it with the brackets you can do it by by clicking and selecting or you can drag them I'm gonna do a little bit of a you know example real quick and I, one of the things that I've been wanting to do inside of Luma Fusion is to have like an assets project or an assets folder that I can keep all of my you know call outs all of my animated titles lower thirds things of that nature inside of the LumaFusion application without you know having to go back and pull it from some type of file or something like that but now with this new function this allows us to you know maybe do a little more of that asset so I could actually pull I have this right here set as a test timeline so this is a call out button from another YouTube creator and does a really good job on LumaFusion called switch to I. This is a YouTube call out button here that just kind of, you know, pops up your, you know, YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, uh, notification bell. By the way, do that while you're in the video. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to turn on this multi tracker. I'm going to click drag over the top of that and now this clipboard down here inside of LumaFusion you can see the clipboard has a little bit of a different look to it you can still see that you have all the other functions that we've had before like audio you can do your presets you can do you know even you know some of the stuff that you would do in any of your effects but now you see we have that copy cut and paste this is the second feature that they updated in today's update so now we can copy these three clips and I can come over to this video that I already had going on and I'm going to come back to the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to paste those same clips, those same tracks from that other project timeline into this next one. The best 
thing about using this feature on LumaFusion is, is that I can actually have that test project set up as an assets folder, technically, or assets project that I can keep all of my lower thirds and all of these call out buttons. And then as I need them, I can just go back to that timeline and copy them and paste them over into the timeline that I'm using. I won't have to you know, pull them all into one frame at one time, or I can click and drag all of them and pull them to my new timeline. And that then will allow me to you know, start every project with you know, something that I already use every single day. So now I'm just gonna take this part right here, throw that in there, and now you can see that I have the coach plugged in. I'm talking on the call out, and that right there came from a whole different timeline. So the last part of the update that LumaFusion updated was the ability to use frame.io. Frame.io is a you know online platform that allows other creators who are editing together can send their files back and forth. Now, this is not something that I have used because I don't have anybody that you know edits my content for me, but down the line, I might. And then also, if there's somebody out there that are that's looking to edit some content, I will be glad to send you over my footage. But for the content creators that do have this feature, this is like another step forward from being able to do the XML export on LumaFusion that you can export it as a file out to Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, DaVinci if you wanted to, mainly for Final Cut Pro, but you could use that XML file and you can send things just like um, those XML files through frame.io. And the way you would access that is, is you would be able to come over to add edit, edit sources and you see we have the things that I have that I use are the photos, files, and imported story blocks, things of that nature. But you still have Narbox, you know, WD, which is the Western Digital. But now you do have that frame.io function on there. And it allows you to do markers. It allows you to, you know, send back and forth comments. And it can even create proxies for ProRes footage. And then you can even open those ProRes footages up on other devices and still, you know, be able to access them the same way you would if you were editing on a local drive. So LumaFusion did have some very good updates for us this time around. Now, this is something that I'm gonna start working on and I'm gonna try to dive deeper into is being able to actually create that assets project timeline that will allow me to have my footage in one timeline that I am working on currently, but then also having that assets timeline of call outs, my lower thirds, my music even, if I have the same music for my logo, I can have all of that in there, drag it, copy it, paste it over into the next timeline so that I can you know, have a much faster workflow when I'm doing editing on my videos for you guys here on YouTube. So that right there is all that I have today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel as I am giving you the X's and O's on how to stay plugged into your tech here in 2020. LumaFusion, one of my favorite applications, probably my favorite application for the month of June, as you all know. Shift Screen was my favorite application in the month of May, and you can find that video right here. Maybe the month of July, I don't know what that application will be, but LumaFusion, month of June, favorite application in 2020. This is Coach Plugged In, and until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace.